Welcome to the Akamai Developer Channel. My name is Javier Garza and I am a developer advocate at Akamai. In this short video, we are going to see how easily you can import a Postman collection for an Akamai API, how to configure the Postman environment and make a valid API call. In order to use Akamai APIs, you need API credentials with permission to access the APIs you want to use. For our example, we need API credentials with right access to the FastPerch API and also to the Property Manager API. We are going to start with opening Postman in our favorite web browser. Now we are going to click Import, select Link, paste our URL. You can find the URL in the video description and we are going to click Continue. We'll get a confirmation screen where we just see the API we are going to import. So we are going to click the Import button. And that's it, we have imported. So now we can expand this and see all the different endpoints for the Akamai API. If you take a look at the API itself, you can see it uses the Akamai Edge Grid Authentication, which is the one Akamai uses for the Akamai APIs. And you can see the different variables here with the different values. So I have configured the credentials for the API to use environment variables so I can have different environments here and switch from different API credentials. To configure this basically you just go to the environment, click edit and we'll type here the values for host, client secret, access token, client token, the base URL it's always fixed you can leave it like that and the network you want to use in this case I'm purging either the staging or if I change it I can say the production network and basically now if I go to one for example in this case I'm going to invalidate by tag you know I can see in the body that I have four objects I'm going to just for example use an array of two objects and if I click send this will be sent to the Akamai network and you can see the API returns at 201 status code which means the request was accepted by Akamai and this has been processed in the Akamai network. We can follow the same process to import another API so we'll click on import, select link, paste the link and click the import button and you can see also we have a second API imported that you can see here so for example we are going to expand it and we can see for example list of contracts and if we click the send button we will send the request to the Akamai network and you can see we have my account ID and we have two contracts all right with this we end our video I hope this was useful and you learned how to use Postman with Akamai APIs feel free to check some of the other useful videos in the Akamai developer channel and click the subscribe button if you want to get notified whenever we add new content hasta la vista